Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to be discussing none other than Frax, the scientific mind behind Rancic's robot army. This video was requested by a longtime subscriber and he had been asking about Frax for a long time and now I have finally been able to have time put aside to get into the complete story of Frax. Now just who is he, just what was his exact role in Rancic's army and why did he hate Rancic so very much? Now he was none other than the mind behind Rancic himself. Now, Rancic was the brute force and the cunning, but the guy that he needed to build the army, the guy who needed to have most of the big plans and would have kind of the overall scientific analysis of things would be Frax. He was the one who was responsible for constructing the army of robot minions that Rancic sent, sent against none other than the Time Force Power Rangers on nearly every occasion he could. And the... the Basically, robot minions had a lot more loyalty towards Frax, and it wasn't really explained why. Maybe it was originally thought that we'd look at him and go, well, he is a robot too, so that makes sense. However, he was unlike them. He had a much bigger role. He was able to speak, converse, and was able to show signs of humor or madness or even evil cunning at times. And he also had a creepy way of just, when he would go, ha ha, his eyes would pop open like, some type of weird mad robot that would sometimes even to this day still creep me out now frax would at times basically murmur to himself about his dislike of, i won't say the word dislike of rancic's belief that robots were inferior and should be slaves to well him and be his own slave army now frax kind of would pound his fist but never really do anything until the episode of frax's fury where we learn a lot more information about Rancic's past as well as Frax's as well and how they both collided. Now in Rancic he had fought a creature known as Venomok and had been bitten and poisoned by it. Now a Dr. Louis Firx would find him with two robotic minions and save his life. Now Rancic was like why would you do this? Well, I'm a mutant, you're a human, it doesn't make any sense. And he goes well I don't have any problems with humans, I don't have any problems with robots, and I don't have any problems with mutants, so you know what, I, I, this is why I did it. I believe that if it's there, I, sh I should be able to help you entirely. And m mind you, his the doctor's laboratory is in an old abandoned looking warehouse, and I mean really abandoned looking, like the if you look at the scene of where it's shown where Rancic and him are talking, Everything's kind of either covered in dust and somewhat, and it's all destroyed. Like, he's basically some evil-looking scientist laboratory going on there. While Dr. Lewis Fricks might not be um, evil itself there, but he, he there's a reason why he's not in his own special big multi billion dollar lab or even a nice-looking lab for the th year 3000. And one, um, I think he uh, kind of pushes beliefs too much in the scientific community that robots were the way of the future. And, um, well, it got him probably kicked out. And the only things I could see that would cause that, and I don't know why at that point why robots hadn't already tried to like take over at some point, or maybe they did, and that's why there's kind of a hatred towards robots. That could have been it. Um, why was he so already pushed away from the community of his scientists if he was so smart um unless he just turned down every grant or any job offer that was because he didn't think it was right to suit him because it was either against what his personal beliefs and the like and he just wanted to work in well the safety of his own self i, I guess i don't know like i don't know why he was there it doesn't make any sense to me why he would be in that type of situation if he wasn't evil to begin with and he wasn't he was he was a normal nice dude who was helping others when he could and i, I was really confused by that well rancic paid him back by immediately killing him supposedly 
and blowing up his place, taking the cure of the serum that would keep him alive because, well, the serum doesn't affect, only fixes the human half of his self, not the full mutant half. And that got a little complicated, so we had to constantly take the new serum every day or whenever the infection would continue. Now, in the episode Frax is Fury, we find out after coming, um, Rancid comes back after trying to get more of the serum, that all of it's been destroyed. And this is year 2001. He finds the entire, all his vials of venom that's keeping him alive, I mean, not sorry, venom, serum keeping him alive from the, the bite of the venom that's in his system is all been destroyed except for one. And that's when Refract steps out, revealing that he was the one who destroyed it all, and also revealing the fact that he was Dr. Lewis Fricks. And he had not died when Rancic brutally tried to murder him in his laboratory. Now, he looks like Two-Face when he does his whole entire left arm is eaten up, like riddled, I don't know, like it's all the like chemical burns. It looks grotesque, but apparently even through all that pain and suffering and near death, he built himself a new body, not starting with the hand that was m more destroyed, but with the other hand, his right hand, and basically going from there. And you can kind of see why. He basically had to, if you look at his picture here on the screen, his left half is where like all the chemical burns were. And while the right half is more organized, I think what he actually did here is he didn't go too deep on the um, his robotic half. He more just put, he kept it all basically human and just do a metal coating around it and became more cyborg. And as time went on, he adjusted because his left arm is very different from his uh, right. His right arm is more humanoid. It's got digits and the like. And while his left hand is a claw, and I think he removed his entire left side per se and replaced it all with that. And then over time went through the head features. Now it showed immediately like in a matter of minutes, he was able to construct a new body. But I think that was just cutting through to show the scenes. Now from then on out, Frex, fully declares his intentions that he was going to come after Rancic and that he was no longer taking orders at all. And you can basically find that very apparent when he's revealed or released Venomax to attack people and Rancic had no idea what was going on because he had the key to the X Vault where the worst prisoners are contained and he was the only one who had the key. So he goes out there and starts like going, doing whatever he wants. He's going out for his full revenge. He's going to destroy anything he can. However, his plan's kind of ruined when he finds out that his serum has been replicated by, um, well, the humans of this time period who had used it to basically create a cure to save the rangers as well as the citizens. And he goes, oh crap. And Rancic goes, I need that serum myself. And he grabs enough and steals it for himself on there. And he's forced, to, uh, Fraxis goes, I'm going to be dead soon because now Rancic has enough to survive and come at me. Now, he runs away from Rancic, and uh, the Cybots on Rancic's side. Now, this becomes very more, much more interesting as time goes on, because now he's playing a game of uh, Killer Tag. And at the time of the, his game of Killer Tag, if Rancic finds him, he's going to die. He is um, constructing massive robots that are run on powerful uh, Trizerium crystals from Mr. Collins' labs. And that's what he meant to do to destroy the Rangers, but... In the end, he is captured by Rancic with the aid of Gluto, the fat boss-like character, mob boss-like character who is in love with Nadira the entire time, who finds out basically where Rancic, uh, Frax's hideout is. And, um, you know, it kind of goes downhill from there. Now, here comes the most human part of him starting to show up in his redemption little story when Nadira approaches him and gets to basically tell him of her doubts of her father's mission. She kind of just goes like, well, I don't think it's right and proper. Just different things start. She starts having basically an identity crisis of what she wants to do for the future and what are they really doing? Was it worth it in the long run? And he kind of looks at her confused for a second and goes, oh my gosh, she's, she's understanding. 
and he goes on a full explanation about hatred and prejudice between these humans and mutants. It's not necessary. It's just not a vicious cycle that's eating away. At. It's like the snake biting its own tail. It won't ever end until one side is completely destroyed, and then they've learned nothing, and it'll just continue on until something new comes up. And he urges her to break it before being taken away and have his memory completely scrubbed and reprogrammed to obey Rancic to the letter in T. Now he uses his robot Doomtron that he was just able to finish before getting captured to destroy his enemies. Now this is when basically the Rangers were able to finally stop him and cause Fra Fracture Shutdown as a result entirely because, well, he's defeated once and for all ending his sad existence going from a human who only wished to show his kindness to the rest of the world and ended up being caught up in the own cycle of hatred that he preached against in the very beginning of things it's kind of sad that this character who went from a scientific brilliant genius to was creating life like with but basically he was creating life with robots and his they called him his friend he called him his friends he didn't see him as slaves he didn't see him as like that he saw them as assistants he saw them as friends he probably even talked to them on a regular basis and then got immediately almost murdered because he decided to help the wrong person even though he thought it was his duty to do so since he was another living being now this would turn him into a villain in the end but you know what, I, I really like his character, the whole thing. You see his whole development as a character. Even though the early episodes, he isn't that really impressive. He's kind of like another version of Circuit from the Rangers point of view, but he was basically a, creating weapons for the forces of darkness. Now, I, I'm really upset that he didn't really have more redemption story. He kind of gets brainwashed and died. I really wish at the end he goes... If he would have, when he died, he goes, thank you, or something like that, like, for freeing me, and that would have been ended, but that's what we got. Still, still good, very good story, and he basically was able to teach one last example of breaking that hatred to Nadira, which actually stuck with her, surprisingly enough, because most of the time she played as an, a bimbo airhead who only cared about nice, shiny things, so good on you, Frax, for leaving somewhat of an impact on the future of villains and redeeming them in the eyes of the Power Rangers fan base. Well, that is Frax. I hope you guys really enjoyed him. There's not too much more information besides that big load of the episode uh, known as Frax's Fury. I rewatched the episode to get a real reason why he bit his time in joining up with, basically, Rancic for so long and then only then paying him back. It's like he was kind of like, okay, like he had a plan, but he didn't know how to go through it all, like get to the ending part. And he got so stuck up on like playing his part that he forgot exactly what he was there for until he was left in a position where he could go, wait a second, Rancic will die if I don't give him the serum. That's kind of like the whole thing. I kind of left that at the beginning, but like if you go watch those character-wise, he kind of doesn't really have a reason why he's there until it's too late. Like until that episode, Fraxis Furious, where everything starts for his character. That one episode changes his character from just like... Oh, he's just a side character, whatever, no one cares, to this, holy crap, this, this side character has a lot more in-depth storyline going for him than originally thought. Well, thank you guys for subscribing and listening this far into the video. Make sure to comment below and let me know what you guys think about Frax, or if you'd like to see him in the future, maybe a redeeming character, or someone with his name of Dr. Lewis Fricks, or more backstory of, like, why was he in an abandoned warehouse? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know of your guys' theories in the comments below. Make sure, may the power protect you.